What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we're jumping into Deathstroke Incorporated issue number 12. This is Deathstroke's year 1 chapter 3. This is Green Arrow versus Deathstroke. Their very first encounter with one another. Deathstroke is out doing his very first mission. Putting on his costume for the very first time. He is out here hunting the doctor that ran these experiments on him, and Deathstroke would have gotten his target if it were not for Oliver Queen showing up to ruin the day. Now it's time to see who wins. Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we jump into part 3 of year 1, Deathstroke thinks to himself, this should have been easy. That he was simply supposed to take out one guy who killed tons of other guys. But things are never easy. Deathstroke did not expect Green Arrow to show up on scene, really believing him to be more of a joke. A guy showing up with a freaking bow and arrow to a gunfight. But Green Arrow lets him know that he doesn't know who he is, but if he is trying to be stealthy, his costume, his suit with the bright orange, it is a dead giveaway. This is when Deathstroke takes an arrow right to the shoulder, being able to get away and hide in the shadows. The green arrow taunts him, tries to draw him out, tries to get him to say anything so he can get his location, but Deathstroke remains silent. He waits for his opportunity. With Green Arrow just talking away, we see Deathstroke pull up his pistol and he unloads it. Meanwhile, up on the rooftop, his target is getting away. Wintergreen has the opportunity to take the shot, but Deathstroke lets him know that he better not, that this is his contract, his mission to do, and no one is going to kill that doctor unless it is him. As him and Green Arrow continue their battle, Green Arrow taking some heavy punches to the face, Deathstroke getting torn up by some arrows. He lets Green Arrow know that he is way in over his head. This is when Green Arrow charges, saying that he is the protector of this city. Destro grabs him, tosses him right over the ledge. This is when he makes his way up to the rooftop, having a helicopter circle. All of these agents are trying to get the doctor out of here. And one by one, Deathstroke starts putting down these agents, letting them know it doesn't have to be this way, that they can simply walk away now, give up the doctor, and let him do what he came to do. Of course, these men are not standing down, and so the firefight erupts. And from the helicopter, there is a freaking minigun. It starts unloading all over the top of this building. This chases Deathstroke back inside the building, keeping him pinned down temporarily. What they don't know is that Wintergreen is out there. Wintergreen taking his sniper rifle, taking the shot, and bringing down the gunner inside the helicopter. With their cover fire taken out, Deathstroke goes to move in, getting within feet of his target. This is when Green Arrow shows back up. Catching him off guard, tackling him to the ground, the two of them start beating the crap out of one another. But it appears that Deathstroke has been bested. Too many forces against him, having too many wounds that are not healing quick enough. Not expecting to find someone like Green Arrow on scene. He has bitten off way more than he can chew. Lucky for him, this is when one of the agents go to put a bullet into Deathstroke's head. Letting them know that he cannot stay alive. He has killed dozens of agents. And now he is going to pay for it. Of course, Green Arrow, he can't allow this to happen. Going to stop the agent, he pulls up his bow. Before he is able to get an arrow off, Wintergreen has already put a hole in the back of the head of this agent. This is when Green Arrow recognizes that he has backup telling Wintergreen to get out of here. Arrow drawn on Deathstroke. He knows he is out of options. Raising his hands up to the sky, he lets him know that he is surrendering. As the agents and Green Arrow all begin to swarm in on him, he thinks to himself that this all should have been easy. All he had to do was kill one man, but now he is recognizing that this is something much bigger than himself. Trapped with no way out, he does a desperate move. 
still a little bit injured, his healing ability not working to its fullest capacity. That's because all of his wounds are so severe. It's taking a little more time than usual, but he leaps off of this building, thinking maybe, just maybe, he can make it to the building across the street. That's when Green Arrow lets loose an arrow with a rope attached to it, piercing right through the chest of him. An extremely precise arrow, missing his heart, lungs, and spine. Even Deathstroke recognizes how much skill that has to take. He knew exactly where to hit him to keep him alive. Deathstroke taking out his sword and cutting that rope because there is no way he is going to prison. There is no way he will be disgraced in that manner. That if this is where it ends, then this is where it ends. And we see Deathstroke fall, falling all the way down to the pavement, his body lying there appearing to be lifeless. He wanted to end it on his terms, and that is exactly what he has done. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This was a great first time matchup. We get to see Green Arrow versus Deathstroke. And there's two ways you can look at this. You can look at this like Green Arrow won. Because by all technicalities, he did win. Now, that's not to say that the odds were not in his favor. He had the element of surprise. He had all of these agents, a freaking helicopter with a minigun, all on his side. For Deathstroke, it was him and Wintergreen. And Destro gave them one hell of a fight. But he came into this fight not fully prepared, not knowing what he was up against, not knowing what he was getting into, not knowing the forces and the magnitude that they would go to protect this doctor. This is also his first mission out, at least as Deathstroke. He's a little bit rusty. It's been a little bit since he's actually been in the midst of combat. A lot of things went in Green Arrow's favor. We can assume that we are going to see a rematch. And the next time Deathstroke and Green Arrow go against one another, Green Arrow is not going to be so lucky. And we all know that Deathstroke, he's not dead, obviously. This is year one Deathstroke. But he believes that this is what's going to kill him. I think there's two directions they can go. That they are going to recognize that he is still alive and he's going to wake up and he's going to be in prison. Or he's going to wake up and he's going to be in the morgue. It's possible that Renner Green is able to get hold of his body until he comes back back to life. Of course, Wintergreen probably doesn't know that. So more than likely, I think the morgue is going to take him away. He'll probably end up waking up in the morgue. And I know, I just said morgue a lot of times. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on with the year one story arc, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now if you can't do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.